Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Now in my last video, I ran through a list of the items that I keep a low inventory of. And so I thought it would be interesting to also do an opposite video where I go through the items that I might have a higher inventory of. And this list is actually quite a bit shorter than the last one, but that's because I don't have a lot of high inventory items. I do try to limit my inventory wherever possible. But I do have, I think, five items that I have found that I do keep a higher inventory of. And so I'm going to run through this list real quick. So let's get started. And number one is obviously books. I have talked about my love for books in the past. And I know in one of my past videos, I talked about how I actually buy more books since becoming a minimalist. And this is because I'm reading over 100 books a year. I have read over 100 books books a year for the past few years. And I am on track to surpass that goal once again this year. But even with my high inventory of books, I am only keeping the books that I absolutely love or the books that I have yet to read. And if I read a book that I own and I do not enjoy it, I will immediately list it on Pango for sale and put it in a crate at the bottom of my bookshelf. And this is kind of how I keep my inventory in check and make sure that I'm not keeping books that I didn't enjoy and will never pick up ever again. And even though I do have a high inventory of books, I still rent most of my books from our public library or from the Libby app. And this also helps me keep my inventory in check even though I do value books and do keep a lot of books on hand in my house. And number two, I don't know how to explain this one, but I labeled it bath enhancing items. And these are things like bath bombs, bubbles, and salts. And I try to take at least one bath a week for self care purposes. I just find baths very relaxing. And so I have found that these items really do enhance my bath experience and make it all that much more relaxing. So I do like to keep a stock of these items on hand so that I can use whatever I feel the moment needs. And number three is dresses. I mentioned my love for dresses in my last video when I talked about how I only own so many pairs of shorts and jeans. And this is because I just prefer wearing dresses. And I probably have about 15 to 20 dresses in my closet right now, but that's simply because I find myself reaching for them quite often. And so I like to have a few different options so I'm not wearing the exact same dresses every single week. And dresses also make me feel soft and feminine, which makes me feel a lot better about myself. I know that's not for everyone, but it really is the aesthetic that I enjoy the most and the way that I feel the best about myself. Number four is chapstick. And this is because I have very dry lips. So I try to keep one chapstick in each room of my house so that chapstick is easily accessible no matter where I am. And I also have this tendency to lose my chapstick. And then all of a sudden, every single chapstick I have ever lost just happens to reappear at the same time in various places around my house. So I also have accumulated a lot of chapsticks that way because I'll go replace the chapstick I lost and then all of a sudden, here's the chapstick that I lost two weeks later. The cats are dragging it around. I don't know where it's been. And so now I have two chapsticks. I don't know what my problem is. I cannot keep track of chapstick. And the last one in this series is pantry items. This one's going to take a little bit ex of explaining because it's a little bit confusing. And this one mostly applies to the winter months, whenever snow and ice in the Midwest can be very unpredictable. And in my area, people have a tendency to panic buy groceries whenever the forecast calls for snow or ice. I avoid being in a sticky situation by making sure that my pantry is fully stocked at any moment in time in the winter months so that me and my husband are able to wait out a snowstorm if needed. And my general rule when buying pantry items in the winter is one for now, two for later. So I'll usually have three stocked of any item at any given time. And this just keeps me from having to run to the grocery store before it snows and then possibly being out of the items that I need. And that's all I have for you. Those are the five items that I keep a higher inventory of. And even with a high inventory. I really don't have too many of these items on hand. I do still 
try to limit the inventory a little bit. Like I mentioned with my books, how I limit the inventory by only keeping the books that I absolutely loved. And as always, thank you for watching my video until the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.